and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And I was asked how to make an envelope-shaped bag out of the friendship bracelet knot. And I realized that this would be a really good tutorial. And we're going to not only show you how to do this, we're going to show you how to do this and then some. So stick around. We're going to we're going to dive in pretty deep. So the first thing you have to consider in a project like this is where do we start? And for me, the starting is up here at the, what I would say the top of the envelope is. And my rationality for doing that is at the end of this whole thing, you end up with a lot of tassely strings hanging down and you want to hide that because it just doesn't look good. You don't want that at the opening at the top part of this this whole uh, thing. So we are we're going to start up here and then um, it's going to turn into a cylinder. And then at the bottom, you're going to uh, turn the whole thing inside out and tie the two sides together to seal it. And when you turn it back the right way around, all of the loose uh, tassely bits will be hidden inside and it will make your work look absolutely amazing. So that's, that's where we're going to start with. And we're going to start with, let's, uh, well, this is fine. Pencil tool. It's a little bit little. All right. Um, we're going to start with this part here. Okay. And, um, probably be, we're, I wanted to start with this because this is the more difficult part of it. Um, the, this part is just a straight line. That's just about, you know, how you add the strings on. So let's start with that one. So that is, I've already started it over here. So essentially you need to find out how many strings you need for well, you can start this, I, I would say, find out how many strings you need from, let's change this color so we can see what I'm pointing at, from here to here, right? This whole, this whole line, you need to know what that is um, because that is the width of your whole project. You can then figure out how much of a slant you want afterwards and when you figure out how much you've taken off for this part you're left with what you have here in the middle now um the purple is to represent a single string um it's mind you for all my bags because of the having to add string and stuff all the strings are doubled up so this purple is still a doubled up piece of string it goes all the way across and everything attaches to it and then when uh, this joins with, say, that flat part across here, um, that's the color, like when those two pieces join, that's kind of the color that you want to, uh, this purple to be, whatever that might be. Like um, like I said, in this case, it's purple. It's whatever you're using. So when you want your strings to be really super flat like this. It's a case of you add on strings using this, which this is a lark's head, right? Um, you basically just make a, a loop halfway in your long piece of floss. You make a loop out of it. You put that around the this long straight piece that you have going here and you pull the ends through the loop and it will uh, anchor on really nice and secure. All right. So you put on two pieces of string and that turns into a knot. You put on two more pieces of string that becomes a knot and you keep doing this along and you'll get this nice, you'll get the row right here. Like these ones oh, here, let's use the paint tool. You'll get, okay. So as you add, are adding on the strings, you will get this row here. All right. And then this part here, you should recognize this. Whenever we're making our regular bracelets and it just comes to a point, essentially we've taken the one string and gone over the rest of the group and it comes in 
where the next string comes in. And that's what gives us our diagonal downwards. So that's, that should seem pretty normal, I think. Um, so yeah, that's how we get this top flat part. Now, the straight part is the same number of strings. Um, I know that seems kind of weird, but when you look at the, like the number of strings in this, it still comes out to being this row right here, right? And that's essentially what we're joining to is we're going to have this straight row. So you're going to have to work out your pattern in such a way that when these two pieces come together, that that's going to actually um, line up and your, that your pattern will work. For me, I would probably start when it comes to doing the designing portion, I would probably start with this line here, this nice straight line, work out your pattern from that, and then make your template, you know, like this, and work it back upwards, right? So you already have the lower part of this, work it upwards so that way you get the two different parts of it. Um, that's just me. I mean, that's how, that's how I've done it in the past. All right. Now, so the added stuff like, so this, that should pretty much answer how to get your envelope going. Um, but let's say instead of like joining these two things at the corner here, you want to kind of make the join happen right in the actual center here, right? That's actually possible. All right, so how do we do that? I've already got this put ahead. Da, da, da. It's like this. That purple string comes down and then goes back over. And all you do is you switch from where you're adding the knots on, you know, one string, one knot, one string, one knot. And then you go back to putting on two strings to get this. And that's that. And of course, you can add another V shape. And if you did this, right here on both sides, you would end up with something like this. So let's see if we can zoom in. So on this little bag, it's got straps. It's got the, uh, instead of just being a simple little flap, it's got a great big flap with like a loop on it. Um, but it's, it's essentially, it's the same thing, just a different you know, change of the variation. But the cool part was it came along and then it drops downwards. And why I wanted this was I just wanted like a little spot where it was easy to get your finger in there and be able to pull the cards and stuff out. So, you know, it's, you, you're only limited by your imagination. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. Um, like I said, if you just do this on both sides, if you can imagine this whole piece here on the other side of this, um, yeah, you would have this bag. Mind you, you'd have to figure out that this is the halfway or whatever that this part here comes into the middle. So there'd be a bunch of math involved and a lot of figuring things out to be, uh, to be that creative, but as I've shown, it can be done. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's, a, it's a neat way of doing something a little bit different um, and tailoring it to whatever your needs are. If you come up with something that you're, you're trying to make, um, I think putting these aspects into it will um, make it possible for you to pretty much come up with whatever it is you want to do. So hopefully this was helpful, guys. I um, I definitely wish I had seen a video like this back when um, I was first starting into the idea of making bags because uh, I had to work this stuff out on my own because there was nothing else out there. I don't even, I still think to this day, there's really nothing out there. So that's why I wanted to make this video and uh, hopefully it helps out. So thank you to my Patreon supporters who make all this stuff possible. I couldn't do it without you. And um, if you need more of the tools for making this kind of um, 
patterns and, and templates and stuff, you can go over to my website, kwell.com, and it's uh, there's a tab right in the middle that says graph paper. And the pieces I use to actually make this are here. Other bracelet ones, including like a four sized pieces of graph paper are all available there. So go check that out. And uh, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch. <laughs>